Good afternoon, everybody. We'd like to welcome you again to another session on what's happening around us. And I'd like to give you two versions of this world events. I, I call it the first the zoom out version, and then we'll try to zoom in to several of these events or issues around us. So let me show to you this uh, first seven world events or issues that has been in the news lately. Number one would be the COVID-19 pandemic. We'd like to see this in three different angles. What the established media version tells us, what the unconventional media version tells us, and then also the Deuteronomy 32 worldview. So that's number one in the COVID-19 pandemic. Number two, vaccination, whether this is going to be forced vaccination or voluntary vaccination. How do we view this in these three different angles or columns? Number three in our list is the quarantine in all its different forms and lockdown. Communities and nations in lockdown because of the virus that has spread all over the world. Number four in relation to solving this virus is the 5G technology and artificial intelligence which is actually connected to number five issue which is the ID 2020 how the world is going to be tagged all of the populations of the world are, are going to be tagged number six who is running the world or who runs the world let's see from different angles what the people around us the established media the unconventional media and what the Scripture tells us from a standpoint of Deuteronomy 32. Last but not the least is the George Floyd issue. We'll see uh, in the Zoom in version what's happening and what the people are telling us about, whether in the United States or in, in other parts of the world. So let's go to the Zoom in version of each of these items in our next category is the subin version of the COVID-19. First, in our first column, the established media tells us this is a natural occurrence from pigs and bats, from animals. It, this virus came out and it attacked the whole of humanity. So what we are hearing from the established media, this virus is from nature. It's from pigs and bats. But looking at uh, social media, most of the unconventional social media version of what we hear is man-made virus, that COVID-19 is a man-made virus. We have also heard that it is a biochemical weapon to depopulate the world or a warfare, biochemical warfare weapon. This is what we're hearing in this angle. But we can see in the Deuteronomy 32 worldview, if you will read from the Passion Translation, one of the things that will, was prophesied, one of the events prophesied in the end times is horrible epidemics, which is not yet the end, but actually when these events unfold, after all of these events or disasters have unfolded, then the end will come. It's like we're being told it is just the beginning. So if you're seeing this virus from these three different angles or point of views, you have a, a zoom out version and a zoom in version of what's really happening. Next in our list, the vaccination, whether it's a voluntary or a forced vaccination, for all the members of the community. Let's see from one angle, this vaccination, the established media is telling us, is a global solution to COVID-19, spearheaded by the billionaire, Bill Gates, as a philanthropist together with the World Health Organization. That's what we hear all over the established media. 
channels. On the other hand, we see a very contrasting point of view that the unconventional media is telling us it's Bill Gates' agenda to increase his earnings out of uh, a business agenda. It's woven into Illuminati's plan to depopulate the world. So that's what we're hearing from this angle. But on the third column, we can see in the worldview of Deuteronomy 32, it is also prophesied in Matthew 24, verse 24, for there will be imposters falsely claiming to be God's anointed one, and false prophets will arise to perform miracle signs to lead astray, if possible, those God has chosen to be his. Well, we can see that whether it's a politician, it's a billionaire, a philanthropist, or a clergy person who can actually pose as a savior, someone who can save the world from any disaster, could possibly fall into one of those imposters that Matthew 24, 24 is telling us. So it's like we're being asked to be watchful, whoever is pretending to be the savior of the world, the anointed one. Next in our list is the quarantine with all of its different forms, whether ECQ or MECQ or GCQ and national lockdowns or community lockdowns. This has been happening. And in fact, here in NCR, we are still in a GCQ extended up to the end of this month. The established media version tells us that these quarantines and lockdowns were implemented to prevent the spread of the virus of COVID-19. So we are asked to stay at home with all of those uh, social distancing, wearing of the masks and wearing of the gloves and of course uh, using uh, alcohol whenever you go, washing of hands. All of this are part of this quarantine and lockdown measures. What we're hearing on the other hand from the unconventional media, they are telling us this is to control and manipulate nations and their economies which is actually a prelude to the new world order the new world order is a form of a totalitarian and authoritarian form of government where people feel they're so limited they cannot go out of their own homes they, they have uh, limited movement and and so many other prohibitions issued by the government and on the third column maybe let's pause this question for for many of us in the the last column we have experienced this let me ask you this is prohibition to gather and worship part of matthew 24 9 persecution quote and unquote persecution is is that part of the fulfillment of this verse that the, the, the first part is you're persecuted. The second part is maybe you get imprisoned. Or the third part would be you get killed. So if you violate man-made rules. So let's ask ourselves this question. Is this part of the fulfillment in the end times? So that's on the issue of quarantine and lockdown. Next, in the issue of 5G technology, and artificial intelligence. We are being told in the established media that 5G is an advanced form of communication technology for a better and strategic future. And so with artificial intelligence or AI, so that's what they are telling us. On the other hand, in the middle column, we heard from unconventional media sources that this Advanced technology could be an instrument to control and manipulate populations and reduce it to 500 million, a specific number. It's like half humans and half robots uh, populating the world through this advanced technology and using uh, 5G technology to either depopulate the earth using EMF. They've been telling us that. So how does the third view or the world view of Deuteronomy 32 uh, view this or how, 
what's what's their standing point we are not surprised because this is just a repackaging of the the desire of those who want to rule the world those who want to be like god like we found in genesis chapter 6 when the fallen sons of god took uh, women beautiful women and intermarried with them and created offsprings that of are a different uh, DNA structure and also in Genesis 11 uh, continuing in this narrative that they want to have their own population build a huge tower and ask God to come down and obey their orders so they want to have their own population and be like God next in our list the ID 2020, what the established media is telling us all about. This is a global digital identity in the form of uh, radio frequency ID that includes your personal information. It could serve as your passport. It also includes your health data. What If you have allergies or if you have a heart condition, it's all recorded there or also your financial data, your ability to buy and sell, okay? And to make life better. This is what the established media is telling us all about with this plan, digital ID 2020. But what do we hear from social media? That the RFID implant through 5G in partnership or in collaboration with the 5G technology is meant to depopulate the world so they can manipulate and control populations. We have heard that uh, social distancing is part of this, that you can be identified if you are a certain uh, number of meters or feet away from one another. So they're sort of conditioning humanity to be socially distant. This is what we are hearing from the unconventional media. But what do we see and hear from Deuteronomy 32? We can also watch and listen to a lot of uh, people of the Ecclesia warning us that this could be a possible prelude to Revelation 13, verses 16 to 18, where populations are being forced to receive the mark of the beast with the number of the beast, 666. Could it be a coincidence that there are only two places they are telling us that you can place these implants in your right hand between your index finger and your thumb somewhere here or in your forehead that this implants could be placed. Could this be a prelude to Revelation 13, 16 to 18 that we are hearing? That's ID 2020. Next, who is running the world or who runs the world? This has been a... Uh, uh, a loud issue on the news channels and social media channels that we're hearing and we hear of course you have heard that the established media has been telling us government leaders are in control political parties are in control if you belong to a monarchy or kingdom you have a king controlling or a queen and also in democratic nations presidents and senators congress people the military and the all other politicians control and run the world so to speak but on the middle column we can see now for the longest time we have heard and read so much about this that there is a group called the Illuminati select group of people powerful people men and women or also they call the elite or the deep state who are actually running the world this is what this is what we've been hearing all over on the third column, we see from the Deuteronomy 32 worldview, very consistent from, from the, the opening of the scriptures to the end, that there are defeated geographical spiritual rulers, those who will want to control the power of the air, or literally control the power of the air, principalities and powers, and their intention is to delay the second coming of Jesus to steal from the harvest and bring more people to eternal punishment. They actually have been defeated at the cross when Jesus died and resurrected. But they're running out of time, so 
they, they wanted to create so much chaos to steal from the harvest and delay the second coming of Jesus and bring more people to eternal punishment. Last but not the least of the world events and issues that we've been hearing is the George Floyd issue, the murder of George Floyd. We have heard that established media has been telling us this is a result of racial injustice. One race against another, one color against another. And this is a tragic result of that scenario. But what do we hear from the middle column from the unconventional media? They're telling us that this is a staged police incident to create disruption. That they've been telling us that George Floyd and the policeman who, who, who was accused of killing him were in the past caught in a, another incident, their colleagues, their, their operatives who know each other and all everything was just staged to create disruption. That's their version. So what do we read from the scriptures as a part of Deuteronomy 32 worldview? It is prophesied in Matthew 24, 7, nations will be against nations. The original word that was used there for nations is ethnos. Ethnos will rise against ethnos. So it's no surprise that uh, race against race will still be happening in the end times. So this is the zoom in view of those several issues that are happening around us, current events, I would say. And in conclusion, I would like to bring us to four possible reactions towards all of this of what we heard number one is to ignore it we can actually say by way of saying that's not for me it's not my concern so totally you don't give time to listen to all of this stuff that's number one to ignore it are you in this category number two is to procrastinate no Later na lang, they would say it, I'll get serious when they are there na and when it's affecting me na already. For now, uh, I won't bother, but when it's really serious, maybe I'll, I'll listen to all of these things that are happening. That's the second one. The third one is to listen, but a bit cautious. So what do I mean by that? Let's see if these things really make sense. Do they really have something uh, beneficial for me? What's in it for me? Or they're just uh, after all the clicks and all the subscription and all the, the news around us. We don't know which who is telling the truth. So you are listening, but you're a bit cautious. And the last but not the least is take heed and prepare. And if the thing that you would like to prepare is taking heed and prepare my heart and be more vigilant because you are aware that all of these things are happening for a reason and the first thing that you are preparing is your heart for whatever happens you are free so to speak to live this planet earth and enter the next part of your journey and of course to be more vigilant with all the things that you're hearing you you won't just brush it aside you won't ignore it you're not suspicious but you're taking in everything and really discerning all of this so to end this uh presentation i am reminded of a a verse in the scripture which tells us be wise as servants and be innocent as doves so we really need a whole lot of discerning and discernment in all of these things happening around us. So that's a chart that is uh, for you to study and, and discern. And we hope that this has been a, a, a tool for you to zoom in and zoom out with what's happening all around us. Thank you and see you next time. God bless.